Ah, this is very cool. I just recently got this from eBay. Ah, C-130 Hercules. Or the Titan from GTA 5. That's <laughs> mainly the reason why I bought it. Because I just think that looks like a cool plane. And I actually got myself one in story mode. I had to do a lot of uh, cheats to get it. But certainly did. But anyways, that's not the point of this video. Uh, the point is to conclude a tarantula feeding video 146, the third part. Uh, I'll be getting two new teas uh, tomorrow and I'll probably include it in this part too. So we'll have about 40 mouths to feed. So I'm going to be getting another genicolata, uh, no, not genicolata. <laughs> I'm escaping myself. Another guanaciensis and an H. maculata. So away we go. Let's get started and I'm just going to do them in no particular order. So away we go. Alrighty then, time for the very first tarantula in this part, and I bring you uh, the spawn from hell. <laughs> Alright, this is uh, Formictopus cancerides, Haitian brown bird eater. Uh, female I got from Ryan Mack. It's posting on Facebook, but still not responding to me. So, anyway. He's in doing doing in fine shape, so let's give it a super. Oh, perf. Very nice uh, gold brown color. There she be. So you guys look very interesting. Too cool. All right, here's a little small uh, Panthibetes platyoma, which is the pink bloom bird eater. Boosh. There we go. Look at that. That's a little spiderling. It's such a shame that they're gonna lose that Christmas tree pattern. I think it's adorable on these species. Perfect. Alright, there's uh, Victoria, my female Thrixopelma ochre tea, which is the Peruvian flame rump. Oh, nice. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Looking so mighty fine. Nice green with a red abdomen. Very holly jolly tea. All right, this is a Cherniochilis lagardi. Uh, this is the Fort Hall baboon. Unsexed. Hopefully it's male, because I do have a female. Alright, this one I'm naming Alyssa. She is my female uh, Pelagardi. Hmm. Well, no go for this one. Alright, Colombian Brown Bird Eater. This is a female Panthibetes fortis. And like all Panthibetes, a uh, really strong theme response. So we should get an attack in three, two, one.
Oh, didn't bite it yet. There we go. Nice tea. Yeah, too bad I can't really see that well, but it's pretty much brown and can see the starburst pattern, but not as much as the uh, Macala and Vespertinus. All right, meet my South American horned bird eater, Sparrowbophria Hoffmani. <laughs> nice. She doesn't web very much, but it's certainly a really, really cool display species. And. You can see that this little, well, this mid-sized female sporting her horn. Yeah, I definitely should do a myth for video on this species since there's not a whole lot of information about them. They're very cool to own and quite easy to take care of too. All right, my well-fed female. Cauciana bruneeps, uh, which is the Brazilian dwarf pink leg. Her name is Kagome. I guess no feeding response from her. All right, we'll try uh, tarantula Chinese mature male, which I'm working with as we speak. All right, time for uh, the mature male, uh, Cochiana bruni peas uh, from tarantula Chani. This guy eats like a ton of bricks. Sorry, he hits like a ton of bricks. Try and get the cricket towards him. Oh, there he goes. There. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> Sent the dinner bell to him. Okay, cool. It's a nice size too. All right, guys. This is Marissa, my female Lassiodora klugi, which is the Bahia Scarlet Bird Eater. Uh, darn you! <laughs> I wanted to compare the difference between an iPhone 8 and her. Yeah, she actually covers the entire phone. That's how ridiculously huge uh, this tarantula is, and this is one of my prized babies. Even though it's a Lassiodora, but just the size alone. I brought her to school once, and <laughs> the, the students weren't uh, there, but the teachers absolutely adored her. They wanted to take pictures of her. She was like the icon. <laughs> But you know, like she didn't, it's a shame that I didn't actually had superworms at the time because I wanted to show her, you know, the great feeding response of Marissa. So let me get another shot of her on this side. But coming in, okay. There we go. I think that's cool. One of these days, I want to get a nicer camera. But now I'm only working three quarters of a full load now. Oh, there we go. Nice. It was supposed to be the last tea I was going to feature at the end, but 
We got some interesting ones. Oh yeah, Marissa's happy. She's doing the little tap dance. <laughs> My God, look at her fangs. It's they're about an inch long. Yeah, guys, that's how big Lassie Doras get. You're in for a real treat if you do get one. All right, let's feed a young male. Pisotheria metallica, goody sapphire ornamental. All right, so if the cricket didn't work, I'm gonna try a little small super worm. Let me just find a nice size one. Ooh, it's too big. Way too big. Okay, I think this should be fine. I'm just like, give it to me. Ooh. No, I think he's afraid of it. Alrighty. That sucks. Alright, this is uh, Mia's spiritual successor. Uh, this is my female, P. Metallica. Ooh, ow, 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 ow. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, girl. Now <laughs> oh, she's hungry. Okay, let me get another super worm. Oh, didn't work. Come on, let's try again. Scout, very nice tea there. All right, this is a female Brachypelma homori, formerly B. Smithy. A Mexican red knee, the icon of all tarantulas in the hobby, and ultimately, uh, you heard the story before. This is actually how I got started into the tea hobby. I've always dreamed up back in the day. Uh, worked my lawns and got my very first. Be Hamori, and ever since got ecstatic and hooked up on them, and here I am, uh, 23 years later, still passionate about my tarantulas. <laughs> there we go. Her name is Athena. It's a fitting name for such a gorgeous spider. She's adult. And this was a gift uh, to, from uh, PDDM89, ooh, probably like maybe six or seven years ago. Still doing well. Okay, so this is Aragog. Uh, this is my Toledo Tocotl albopolosum. Uh, this is the hobby form. Aragog is very sweet tea. But super hard hitter when it comes to her supper. I believe I got this from Logan daily, if my mind serves me right. Awesome. Okay, this one here is quite a different coloration of the curly hair. This is the Nicaraguan form of uh, Tocotl uh, Avapolosum. Colors is much more subdued, more copper, 
but definitely a curly hair because of the hairs around her body. Very good eater. Alright, this one here is a potential female Mexican red knee, Brachypalma homori. Mm. It's kind of like Athena used to do back in the day. Where they gotta dig, 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 dig. Nope. Alright, no go for this one. Tis tisk. Okay, now this one here is the Gramostola Poteri, which is not very Poteri like. Climbing the glass. This is the common rose here. Uh, this is my last one I have in my collection. Yep. go. Nice classic rose hair. Nice pink carapace and brown body. Alright, uh, my only Nandu Chromatis. This is the White Stripe Bird Eater. Lola, come here. Um, yeah, so let's go feed this one. Guess not. That's a shame. Beautiful specimen, though. Oh, yeah. Here she is. Inside the PCV pipe. It's a great uh, cave for uh, your tarantula and really cheap, too. I'm gonna put some water in that. Uh, Bowl. Okay, here is Charlotte, my big female uh, Grandma Sola Pulcher piece, which is the Chaco Golden Knee. Okay, let's see if I have supers. Yeah, it's a nice one right here. Boop. Excellent. Let's give her another one. <laughs> what a pig. What a pig. Purdy. Alright, diving into a Bahia Grey Bird Eater. 
This is Lassiodora stratipes. You don't see them very often. Not very common in the Lassiodora hobby. Nice. And uh, that was actually really cheap too. I got that one from Tangled and Webs. Now Don is the current owner of it. Okay, this one here. Another one is uh, Lassiodora difficilis, the fiery red bird eater, or, or Brazilian fire red. Okay, let me go and plop this super. Oh yeah, definitely. That's something that you would see in a Lassiodora. Fortunately, can't sex this one yet, but it's big enough for me to reasonably guess with a ventral shot. Alright, now I'm going to feed a pair of Tilotocotl uh, Schroderi, which is the Mexican Black Velvet. I have two crickets left. Is this one's gonna get it? Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> Not interested. Yeah, not interested. Oh well. Oh, look at that. Fancy me. So, this is a Brachypelma bomi, Mexican fire leg, uh, the new female. That replaces the one uh, that uh, passed away in the summertime. Recently just molted. You can see how very colorful she is. She's about, I would say, a good two and a half inches. So unfortunately, she looks kind of fresh. So I won't be able to uh, feed her. But too early to uh, do so. Okay, Brachypalma emilia. This is the Mexican painted red leg. Nice job. And let's see the other one. Bingo. Alright, this one is a very hard tarantula to come by and it's now quite unbelievably expensive as mature females. You're looking at a Brazilian black, um, Gramasola pulchra. Got this little sling from Isaiah and it might be a female. Uh, 
very good shape. All right, this is the Texas Tan Tarantula Phonopalma Annex. Looks more like a telecoddle than anything. Crunch. Yep, that's pretty much all you're going to see of her. Up next is an unsexed Polinobius muticus, uh, which is known as the King Baboon. Very active little guy. Oh, 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 beautiful, there we go, nice. A very large African species as uh, adult females will get up to about nine inches. And the characteristic of these as females is that uh, the hind legs are gonna be super thick. Males are gonna be like four and a half inches and they're not gonna sport that thick hind legs but very cool and it's doing well hey guys I have some great news I finally got into contact with Ryan and uh, he should be bringing my big female of the species uh, we're looking at an Acanthoscuria geniculata which is the Brazilian giant white knee another one of those super saiyan tarantulas that <laughs> eat like there's no tomorrow. There we go. It's a little female, about say a good two and a half, three inches. This one here is an unsexed uh, Toledo to Caudal uh, Verdesi, which is the Mexican Rose Gray. There we go. Nice. Nandu Carapoensis, I believe the name it's the Brazilian red and black. Not very typical Nandu. Very good eater. Toledo to Caudal and Gustin. This is the Costa Rican red haired. This is my smaller one, unsexed. Love how these attack. Formerly Brachypalma. Nice size, too. It's growing nicely. Alright guys, a little update you on uh, the Theraphosa Sturmi. Uh, this is the Burgundy Goliath bird eater. I tried feeding this one, uh, wasn't really interested in eating. Um, got this one from uh, Tarantula Chani. Hmm. Anyways, uh, and we'll feed my blondie. I think it'll be the last one. Oh, those hairs. Alright, this one here is the last one I'll feature. Uh, I've been featured 
all my uh, tarantulas yet, but uh, this is the Therophosa blondie. This is the true Goliath bird eater, very rare to come by. And we'll see how this guy does. Oh well. That's about it. Okay, and as always, filmed every after feeding video post. We'll update on Lola, my seven year old Snorky, Schnauzer Yorkie mix. Sit. Paw. Good girl. Other, sit. Other paw. Good girl. High five. <laughs> Roll over. No, she doesn't want to roll over. Mmm. <laughs> Good girl. Alright, still have Maggie. No, we don't want. All right, you can take it. What a pig. All right, so to end off the feeding video, as luck would have it, uh, my female tripepi molted, the big one. So I figured I should show you how gorgeous she is. Well, here's my hand just to give you an idea of how large uh, my specimen is. And you can clearly tell it's female. Let me just look up here. Turn on flashlight. It's on. There we go. So, a little tutorial of how to sex tarantulas by molt. Uh, when you have the molt, you're going to spread open the abdomen area. So you have the white little uh, spots here, which are the book lungs. And what you'd be looking for is straight in the middle. So if you look here closely, I'm trying to get this camera to focus. That spot in the middle right here. Uh, this is your sperm sac. Uh, this is where the female stores the sperm after uh, she's been mated with the male. So if you have this, then you know that your tarantula is 100% confirmed female. This is a 100% guaranteed way to sex a spider. Also, if you ever get an adult and it's that big, you can right away safely assume it's male. So this is a very gorgeous molt. Which I'm going to save because it's beautiful and where's that one where'd you go all right that's a perfect mold that's a beautiful one nice so let's have a look at the spider you can see she's very very fresh look how monstrous she is the hairs are fully intact. That's a very, very nice sized tarantula. It's about like eight inches. This is the full grown species and the largest of the Nandus. Just absolutely breathtaking. <laughs> Alright guys, so uh, this is all for today. I hope you enjoyed watching the feeding video series and it's great that 
it had to take an epidemic for me to come back, but uh, rest assured I'll start to uh, make uh, these monthly and hopefully uh, bi-weekly or once every two weeks I'll try to make a Tarantula Mythbuster video of all of the new ones uh, that I have and maybe update some of the older ones. Um, not really much in care wise, the only thing is like, uh, for example, like Brachypelmobopolosum is now a Telozocotyl genus, so uh, yeah okay anyways all right guys so thanks for watching hope you liked the video don't forget to rate comment subscribe and i'll see you in the next one